is er ook een lente. So what we're doing for the upcoming testing journey, we actually have changed all the fluids, gone over the car, checked all the brakes, the axles, suspension components, and made sure the functions and the fluids, the service maintenance is up to scratch before we head off. And now we're also preparing the vehicle with some temperature probes to monitor temperatures like under the bonnet, uh, air intake, axle temperatures, uh, exhaust temperatures, so we can get a good idea about how the vehicle's operating in extreme temperatures. With vehicle preparations complete, the Grenadier Trails team stopped by the Sanderson 2B Tour to show eager South Australians the Grenadier prototype ahead of their journey into some of South Australia's most testing conditions. Completing final checks and saying goodbye to Sanderson, the Grenadier team headed nine hours west to Seduna, the starting point of Goods Track and the beginning of the trail. Having sampled the Grenadier's highway performance on the way from Adelaide, the Grenadier team were excited to get stuck into the first of the off-road tests that would face them on Goog's track. A 170 kilometre trail consisting of over 300 sand dunes and heavy corrugations. Known for its undulating terrain and soft sand, Goog's track enabled the trails team to assess the Grenadier's off-road traction, articulation and power, harvesting data from sensors installed back at base and designed to monitor vehicle parameters.
part of the reason for venturing into the South Australian outback was to monitor the performance in the extreme heat and dust. However, the typical intense sunshine and 40 plus degree temperatures had given way to cooler conditions and unseasonal rain. Nevertheless, it took a bit more of unexpected weather to stop them. The Grenadier team just perform other tests and carry on their journey along the trail. Following a corrugated run from Goog's track, the Grenadier Trails team arrive in Takula. Whilst the town no longer has any permanent residents, Takula is home to Barton Gold, owners of the local Perseverance mine site and the location for the next stage in Grenadier's testing program. Once the locals had been given a quick tour of their own, of course. In addition to the unstable rocky surfaces presented by the pit itself, thanks to the unexpected summer rain, the rough and dusty surrounding roads and exploration zones had transformed into a wet and muddy playground for the trail team to put the Grenadiers off-road handling to the test and have a little fun whilst at it. Alex Mark, it's been uh, a real pleasure being out here. Thank you so much for hosting us. And uh, what a playground. Uh, yeah, but, but you know, for this it's a, it's a big learner journey for us to understand also the use cases. And you know, you, you guys need a tough vehicle. Mm. What are the key things you're looking for in your vehicles? I guess fundamentally one that's going to do the job day in, day out. That's, that's first tick, first you know, tick, done. Yeah, 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 yeah the job yeah. doesn't happen if the vehicle's not working. Yeah. I mean, to, frankly, to think that this is, you know, say just a prototype, the fact that it's, you know, this has been this and its sort of sisters have been going around the world doing all the engineering testing and, you know, to see this thing, I think it's just going to be incredible. What we're seeing now is incredible. It's pretty exciting. It, it, it is, as you say, sort of built on purpose for exactly what we need it for. This can do pretty much anything mm. you need it to do. Yeah, no, it's very yeah. exciting. Thanks for um, having us here at Wilgina Station. Fantastic place. So look, you're, you're running over, I think it's a million acres, 29,000 yep. head of sheep. 29,000 at the moment, and yeah, it's about that sort of, yeah, we're just about full capacity. We've run about 30,000 max. It's it's tough country, right? It's, um, uh, well, certainly from what we've seen, you know, driving around. Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, there's a bit of everything. Um, the biggest job is sometimes just, you know, muster them and yeah. trying to get them in to, to work them. And, yeah. And, all that. yeah. and so your, your your vehicles are critical to getting the job done, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So having a good fleet, um, yeah, mean, means a lot for us. With so you've had a ride in the Grenadier, um, you know, just you know, coming up on the top of the hill here, which has been great. First impressions, anything that you you know, any it feedback was, you can give us? Well, it was it was definitely stable on the road. It definitely felt. Uh, quite suited to, you know, and even coming up on the hill um, before it, it tackled that, no dramas. After a day of testing at the mine, it was time for the Grenadier team to hear what the locals thought of the new 4x4 in town and settle in for the night ahead of continuing along the trail.
The unseasonal rain that had followed the Grenadier team so far on their testing journey through the remote trails of South Australia had quickly become a once in a hundred year event. Towns in the region had received the same amount of rain in a week that they usually do in a year, with widespread flooding to surrounding plains and washing out the cross-country rail network. Yeah. And, and then it's um, less maintained, so it's a bit rough. It's a bit bloody wants a grade, but it's not the smooth, smooth part, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> the only road in and out of Tarkula was among the many in the region that were cut off due to floodwaters, leaving the team stranded until the water had cleared and the road was repaired. Undeterred, the Grenadier team pressed on and continued their testing, determined to finish the journey which they'd set out to complete. Due to the intense rainfall and subsequent torrents of runoff, it had created uniquely challenging conditions for the Grenadier which the team were quick to throw at the vehicle and put to the test. The rare mix of outback terrain and heavy rainfall had created an unsurpassable quagmire that was enough to catch out even the most hardcore of vehicles. Luckily, a capable 4x4 and a knowledgeable team were close by to lend a helping hand. I'm ready to go. I'll take up the tension now. The journey back to the Grenadiers base could begin, but the hardest challenge the team would face on this trail was yet to come. The Ineos Grenadier will have an adventure just to get home. We've got no roads, no railway. It's going to be fun with a capital F. Having received permission from the Roads Authority to evacuate Tarkula, the Grenadier and Barton Gold teams prepared to tackle the flooded roads in convoy back to the Stewart Highway. After being stranded for several days, it would be the first time that the team had experienced the full extent of the flood damage to the trail. Despite setting off with realistic ideas as to how heavily damaged the roads would be due to the torrents, the reality was even more treacherous than expected. After a minor setback and a return favour from the previous day, the team pressed along the trail and continued towards home. Yeah, if you can pull out the way, I'll go right back to the water. I will, mate. Yeah, I'll wait until the sling's picked up. Finally, making it to the Stewart Highway, the team's relief to be back on solid ground was indicative of the ordeal they'd been through over the last week. 
This was however short-lived, as converging storm fronts flooded the main north-south highway in Australia, cutting the country in two and forcing the team to backtrack for the night. The next morning, advised by local authorities that the floodwaters have subsided enough for four-wheel drive vehicles to safely wade through, their team's journey could, once again, resume homeward. The Grenadier Trails team had set out to complete a testing journey in a region already regarded as home to some of Australia's toughest terrain. In reality, what they received was so much more. A journey requiring grit, determination and capability from personnel and vehicle in equal measure on a trail that truly proved its purpose. Mm -hmm.